Hey all here, OS Reviews, you're watching our hands-on review of the EOS Air. These are premium true wireless earbuds that sell for $110. So definitely more expensive than the generic pairs that we've been seeing, but it definitely has a more striking and distinctive design, comes in a number of different colors from rose gold to chromes and golds. Apart from aesthetics, the arm adds some extra stability and it prevents them from falling out quite as easily if you're doing sports or exercising because it fits over the outside of your ears as a wing of sorts. Otherwise, they of course come with Bluetooth 5.0 and claim to have over 90 hours of battery life with the included battery case. And the version that we have today is the Army Green Limited Edition, which is a bit more of a camouflage in terms of its color. They have 8mm uh, graphene coated drivers, and you can see that this is what it looks like with the gold arm and the company's logo. So definitely a very kind of iconic look going on. They will last 6 hours on a single charge, and again the battery case gives you over 90 hours because it has a massive 2200 milliamp hour capacity. Very clean packaging here, and on the back here we also have the same specs printed again including the microphones which have some ambient noise cancellation for phone calls and if we open it up there's a quick thank you card and the battery case itself. Now first impressions would be that the battery case of these are definitely on the larger side. If you compare this with something like Apple's AirPods in terms of the battery case you can see just how much larger it is. It gets you a longer charge on the go but uh, for sure these are not one of the smallest uh, designs that we've seen. There's a lot of additional accessories included, such as spare silicon tips. You even get some spare memory foam tips, so these are very similar to Comply. You can squeeze them shut, and they offer some extra comfort and uh, noise cancellation in your ears. We've also got a membership card that feels like a premium credit card that you can access a code on the back to have the warranty information, and there's also the full user manual here. We've got a USB Type-C cable for charging the battery case, and we have an interesting wire here that can supposedly attach onto the left and right of the earbuds to add a wired connection if you want to wear it like a necklace to prevent them from getting lost. The construction quality of the case feels great. There's brushed aluminum on the front, and we have some polycarbonate plastic on the sides, again in this army green edition color. Type-C port for charging, and on the back some uh, very basic specs printed on here for the charging rate and the branding as well. They open up using magnets and we have access just to the ear buds on the inside, again with the delicate army green color for this particular edition, and the arms here which are still very chrome accented and shiny to look at. Of course the larger battery case also means that it accommodates the outer wing design without having to remove anything. We see that there are memory foam ear tips which are applied by default. So these are again a bit more premium and very good for noise isolation and uh, they're also going to be great for comfort compared to just regular silicon. Now if we take a closer look at the design of the earbuds, it really reminds me of something like an IEM or in-ear monitor which you might see artists at concerts wearing. So it does have a slightly more ergonomic shape to the way that it fits in to conform to the sides of your ears. Overall, the earbuds themselves are very lightweight and they have a capacitive touch sensor that you can use to play and pause the music and also to answer or reject a phone call with the built-in microphone. So suffice to say, I am a pretty big fan of the design. I definitely think they look very distinctive and in general very classy and elegant. Moving into sound quality and performance, thankfully the audio quality is great. Uh, there's plenty of bass here so if you're listening to an EDM track or a bass boosted track it really comes across as punchy and strong. With that being said, that's mostly the case with the majority of Bluetooth 5.0 earbuds that I've tried, uh, so there's not a huge surprise that they're already a lot better than past versions of TWS earbuds using Bluetooth say 4.2 or 4.0. Uh, mids and highs are also very clean and you can hear a lot of detail within the sound. You can definitely wear these for just hours and hours on end without noticing any stress or any strain and they do have great noise isolation with these memory foam cushions. You can uh, almost block out I would say the majority of outside noises even though it's not active noise cancelling. Now on the site downside uh, because they are still wireless earbuds at the end of the day if you turn the volume all the way down you can still hear a little bit of distortion or noise so just like any other pair there's still a very slight hiss that you can discern. Uh, it doesn't become as obvious if you turn the volume up a little bit, but uh Again, it compared to truly audiophile grade uh, you know, headphones and earphones, those are still going to be wired at the end of the day. But as far as wireless pairs go, I think they sound great. 
Another slight con is the connection range seems to be quite good, but depending on your device, it seems to be a bit more fickle than the Crazy Baby Air Nano and the Apple AirPods. So for example, it worked perfectly fine on the iPhone, but when I tried it with a Huawei smartphone, the Mate 10 Pro, I did have one or two disconnections. So for example, after listening for about three hours, there was a case where it just disconnected from the phone. It said disconnected and then it just reconnected about a split second later. If if anything, at this particular price, again $110, yes, audio quality on these are some of the best that I've tried out of TWS earbuds. Maybe rivals some Sennheiser and BNO TWS earbuds that we see, but those are even more expensive. So that's great news for EOS in terms of the tuning of the drivers that they've used here. Uh, however, I would still like to see maybe some additional features, such as maybe ambient mode or reverse active noise cancellation. Again, that's a feature that you won't find on these. So I do think that they can add some more functionality because right now they are just for music listening uh, alone, which is fine. They sound great, but again, they are going to be more expensive as well. And one last feature that they could maybe consider would be putting a USB port onto the battery case to use it as a backup power bank to charge up your phone. Because again, this thing is pretty large in terms of its capacity and physical size. So it is almost like a small power bank of its own. So that's the EOS Air Premium True Wireless Earbuds. I think for the price, they sound better than the Crazy Baby Air Nanos. They give you more fidelity and resolution and details that you can pick up with mids and highs while still having very thumpy bass and an extremely comfortable experience. These have got to be one of the most comfortable TWS earbuds in the world. Ultimately, if you want an excellent sounding pair of TWS earbuds that clearly rivals the Apple AirPods in terms of both sound as well as a distinctive design, and I think that these are a great pair to take a closer look at, and they come in a number of attractive colors as well. So you can learn more details in the links down below, but for now that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews, that's been the EOS Air.